information. All right, right now let's check in with 38 The Spot's Crystal Lampa to see what people are talking about online. Yes, well, Justin, we tend to think that celebrities get away with everything, right? With Sometimes, arrests, yeah. speeding mm -hmm. tickets, but that's actually not true. So right now, Chris Rock is taking a selfie every time he gets pulled over. Here he is on Instagram. He's already been stopped three times in less than two months. It isn't clear whether Rock was breaking any rules, but he's making the point that as a black man, he's more likely to be pulled over by police. So this has reignited a social media uh, discussion about racial profiling. Here's a graph from the Washington Post that displays the percentage of drivers pulled over by police in 2011 by race. You can see there's only about a 3% difference between whites and blacks. And also to support this, a study by KU last year in Kansas City found out that more than 2,000 drivers, um, out of more than 2,000 drivers, police were equally likely to pull over black and white drivers for traffic violations. The big difference comes with investigatory stops. A typical black man under 25 had a 28% chance of, of being stopped per year without having broken traffic laws. Now that's compared to 12.5% for a white man of the same age with similar driving habits. Also, here you can see this is from the 2011 study. Um, if a car was being searched, there was a much, much greater likelihood that the driver of that car was black or Hispanic. So this is getting a lot of buzz online. People are just talking about it and it's all thanks to Chris Rock because mm -hmm. he just posted a few selfies on Instagram and it's just, it's happening to him a lot lately. Yeah, and it's a, a very hot topic all across yeah. the country and very interesting to see it broken down that way. Absolutely. Thank you, Crystal.